Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 2. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 1 of Book 2, which basically describes the distributive law that we should have all learned in high school. And to demonstrate what I mean, let's look at our line A, which has a length of A, and line BC, which has a length equal to B. So what this proposition states that if we have a times b, or, is it, or a times d, e, f, where these are the lengths of the individual segments of our line, so a times d plus e plus f, is going to be equal to a times d plus a times e plus a times f. And this is something that you should have learned in school, but we are going to demonstrate the proof of it using geometry. So the first thing we're going to do is drop a perpendicular from B going down and create a point G such that the length of A is equal to BG. The next thing we're going to do is draw a whole bunch of parallel lines. So we'll draw a line from G parallel to BC. We'll draw a line from D, E, and C parallel to BG. Ending up with a whole bunch of rectangles. All right, now the area of the rectangle BH is going to be equal to the sum of the individual rectangles BK, DL, and EH. But we already know that the rectangle BH is going to be equal to the same rectangle of A times BC since A is equal to BG. So in other words, A times BC is equal in, to the area of BH. So we have that BH is equal to BK plus DL plus BH which is equal to A times the line segment BC. Now we already, having established that BG is equal in length to A, then the area of the rectangle BK is going to be equal to A times BD. The area of the rectangle DL will equal to A times DE, and the area of the rectangle EH will equal A times EC. So given this equation and these equations, we end up with that A times BC is equal to the sum of the multiplications. Or, again, the distributive rule in algebra. So to recap, A times BC is equal to A times the each individual segments added together. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.